What's up everybody, how's it going? Today we are editing and reacting to your photos. This week we asked you to send in uh, photos to us and uh, this is the video. Yeah, so we, uh, actually I was surprised we got, when we first talked about it, we weren't really sure if you guys were gonna send us photos, but we ended up getting a, quite a few and um, we're gonna be reacting to six in specific right here. And they're actually pretty good photos. So yeah. I, was, I was surprised. Thank you for stuff. all of your submissions. And if you'd like to do stuff like this with more community in the future, let us know. Um, just a disclaimer before we start this video. Um, none of these pictures we're going to be heavily critiquing. Bashing or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, we are. They're all pretty good. Yeah. We all like them and we all just love the idea of photography in general and being interested in it. And we, by editing these, we just want to show you what you can do with like what little equipment and experience you have and what results you can get in the end. Um, so yeah, thank you for sending us your photos and uh, enjoy the video. The first picture that we'll be reacting to, to and editing is uh, by a guy named at Old Man Rabino. Yeah. Uh, thank you for your submission. Uh, this is his photo and uh, let's see what we can do. Well, okay, so right off the rip, it's a good photo. I like the uh, compositions. Yeah, amazing. compositions pretty good. I would, I would take the get get rid of a little bit more of the bottom the foreground. and kind of make my focus the bridge. So basically, I'm just removing some of the uh, the empty space on the bottom of the frame. So I kind of punched in. It's almost a one by one shot. Um, and then the only thing that I like the bridge as like the focal point. The only thing that kind of distracts me from the image is just like the little sticks in front and stuff like th this tree in the very in the very front of frame that's fallen and then the tree right in front of the actual tunnel. That's like my biggest. That's the biggest thing that I don't like of that about this image, but I think it looks really good. I love the greens here and this like the evenness of the light. It is pretty. Uh, yeah, under there's a lot. No, there's a lot to do. Yeah, and you can t it's definitely shot on a phone just because of the way the, the aspect ratio was. Um, but, but what do you think about like color? Like what would you do to this? Oh, you don't even know. Let Here me, we go. Let me let me show you what I'll do to this. For those of you who don't know, Logan's way better at color grading than anyone else. And uh, I would say I'm probably better, better in like composition wise, but this man is the color expert. See, he can shoot, so he doesn't really need a no editing. I on the I other just hand, give it to him. I'm those, not that great yeah. at shooting, so I have to be able to like fix my shit in post. I'm the uh, fix it in post guy. So, if you don't know me, and if you haven't seen my Instagram po profile, I'm a big fan of moody, desaturated colors in my photos. But that's just... Yeah, we're kind of opposites, actually. Yeah. Those are always, like, more moody. You can edit this stuff, like, you could do some of this editing on just your iPhone. Honestly, you could do... Oh, yeah, Lightroom is a free app on your iPhone, and you can do so much. You can do everything that we are doing here on the free version of Lightroom on your phone. But anyway, so the only thing that I would have done to this image is if it was a higher resolution, I would have zoomed in and I actually would have photoshopped out the uh, the sticks right in the middle of the tunnel. And hopefully, you know, I could have used the magic brush and stuff like that just to kind of clear up the middle because that really feels like the focal point to me. At least for me, when I look at the image, that's the first thing I see. Um, so I, I like this image a lot. I think it's super, uh, I think it's like, a, you know, kind of classy, classic kind of a thing. Um, out of five, what are you thinking? I'm thinking four. I'll give it a four, yeah. Yeah. Um, old Man Rubino, good job. Nice photo. So the next photo is actually by at N Coleman on Instagram. This is Noah Coleman. He was actually just on the podcast. And this is actually his great grandfather's truck. I believe so. Yes. Um, and he actually passed away last year. Rest in peace. And he passed this on down to Noah. And Noah loves this truck. And I guarantee that's why he sent it to us. I think this is a really cool image. Um, and I really want to do his grandfather good. Yeah, yeah, we got a lot to uh, to work up to. Um, I guess we'll start on composition. I think the focal point obviously is the truck. So I kind of want to get rid of a little more of this dead space. Yeah, let me grab this custom. Uh, a little tip, if you bring your exposure down before you adjust any other settings, you can grab like more information from the highlights. Like just from a little adjustment on the clouds, you get a lot more blues just because you bring your exposure down a little bit. Um, another thing, if you bring, if you're trying to regain like information and stuff, taking it from, that looks good. Wow, it looks shiny now. Taking it from the shadows 
is always going to be more beneficial than trying to get information from the highlights because pretty much an overexposed image is almost impossible to regain any information. So just a little tip, take your information and try to gain it from the shadows, not the highlights. And that's it for this professional tips with Gavin. Because that, I think in this photo we're trying to... Um, that red? The red. Yeah, the red's like the focal... It's like the main color. Wow. But remember, don't just oversaturate your image because you think it looks better. I guarantee it probably doesn't. Just saying. I, I've done that many times before. I think we both have. We just... Yeah. Ooh, let's oh, how about our How about our old uh, Cinema Bros... Um, YouTube uh, YouTube banner where you just hit saturate and it was like a rainbow evening or whatever it was. Oh my god. Remember that? I'll, I'll throw it up on screen right now. Oh, that's a bad photo. Yeah. All right, so this is the final image. Um, really, the I mean, the truck looks great and that's obviously the focal point. So we, the goal was just kind of to make it look a little more classic and really fake focus just on the reds and just on the truck. So we pretty much desaturated all the other colors. And so now the first, I mean, the only thing you can think is just red truck. And I think that's obviously what, what they would go for. Um, and I'm sure Noah's grandfather would be proud of this. I hope so. Um, yeah, we hope so. What are we thinking? Um, what the, I'm gonna go four. Yeah, four. I'm still going four. It's hard to get a five out of five image because all right, this this next photo is by Biggie Boy, and uh, so he sent us quite a few, and um, he's actually a really cool kid. But thanks, first of all, thanks for submitting. And this photo is dope. Yeah, I like it. This like seems the this reminds me of a lot of like the old Cinema Bro days. Yeah, you know, I almost I don't know what you're thinking, but I'm thinking the blues. Yeah, but I'm also thinking that, like, I want to make it even more dramatic. Yeah, I want to I wanna make this basically a complete shadow. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, that's okay. like... All right. Uh, anything you want to do, Gavin, I think? So this, this image is... It's a cool image. It's kind of tough, though, because it's an iPhone camera or a phone camera. So, like, the, the issue is there's not a lot of information in the photo. Like... We we're trying to retain, bring back some of the color in the sky, but because the original image was really kind of white, um, it, it it's tough to bring anything out of that. Right. So I think like this whole kind of middle of the frame is, is almost just a lost cause, which is okay. I think overall though, the style of the photo is cool. Yeah. I'm gonna give it three stars. Three out of five? Yeah. Okay, this next photo is by at nerd.exe on um, Instagram. It's a really cool photo. Uh, it is, looks like it's still on a phone though, just sharpness wise. Yeah. Um, uh, it might be on a camera. It's a pretty cool shot with these rocks in the foreground. Oh, yeah. uh, I don't even want to edit color, color wise. I think though- Color can, looks really good. I've, I'm going to do a, a little bit of composition editing. Yeah, like look at the horizon right there. It's, so we're going to just- So yeah. Yeah. So. Just that little bit of a straight horizon um, can do a little bit of change. Actually. Yeah, I just love the color and the reflection off the, the water. The reflection off the water looks phenomenal. Um, I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit. Bring the exposure down a little bit. Bring the uh, highlights oh, up. No, actually the highlights down. Just to get a little more information out shadows of that. Up. Bring the shadows up a little bit. That looks pretty dang good. Uh, I can't really see a difference. I don't remember what it was when we started, so uh, here's the original image, and here's what we did. I really like the creativity of like a lower shot. That's something nobody else has done so far. Um, the focus, the focal point, like the focus is on the rocks. I like the the composition's really well done. I would have went a little bit lower if, if I could have. I don't know the situation you were in, but I would have tried to get even more dramatic and focus like on one or two rocks. Um, I say we give this one five. Yeah, I think we have a so first far. five star photo. Congratulations, uh, nerd. nerd. <laughs> All right, so this photo was sent to us by Leatherman Photography. And I think it's another one of those photos that we don't really need to edit. I mean, it's a great photo overall. I really like the style of this one, the real low 
There's not a lot being shown. Again, very dramatic. The use of natural lighting, as you can see, this the model is just sitting next to a window and you can very clearly see that the your focus is brought to her eyes because the light from that window is going directly into her eyes. And I think that looks really sick. Actually, speaking of dramatic, I mean, composition why this is perfect. I want to make, see if I can make this more dramatic because you know, that's how I be. All right, so I barely edited this. I just basically desaturated most of the colors, um, except for her face, because that's the focal point, obviously, and I think this is more of a dramatic. Basically, Logan made it a little more dramatic, less less color. Um, as far as composition would go, I might zoom in a little more on her face. Just get a little more in because... You're, you're, you like tighter stuff. Yeah, I like the N+. Plus. Right now I have her left eye pretty much in the left and top third, right there on that top top 90. And I think that looks really good. Um, shut up, Drew. Another no, five star, talk. five star photo. Yeah, I'm gonna give it, we're gonna give that one five stars. That's good, nice job, Chris. All right, last photo is from Little Pasta 19. And uh, this is my girlfriend. <laughs> Little uh, pasta. Thank you for sending us this. Yeah, nice submission. Um, this is of her in Salem, actually, where like the witchy shit happened. So. <laughs> yeah, let's let's make it witchy themed and make it more. Uh, what's it called? Dramatic. I keep using that word. I hate that word now. Dramatic cast. Because you just call me a drama queen. <laughs> I just like <laughs> saturated all the other colors except for the orange and the pink, pretty much. Okay. And made it like a more warmer color. So that's the original. I can't split. No, yeah, I think it does. I think it looks better. So pretty much, uh, I think the only adjustments on this image. I like composition actually. Surprisingly, Gavin doesn't adjust the composition. But wow, um, I think Logan pretty much just made it kind of a warmer feel to it. Yeah, I guess the the original image was very blue, and I like uh, what you did. Thank you. I seek your approval. Confirmed. Good photo. What are you gonna rate it as? Four. Four out of five. Good job, babe. Four out of five. All right, guys. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, take two. Yeah, you uh, you got your big boy pants on. <laughs> okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I, I actually really enjoyed this video. Thanks for submitting all your photos. Uh, if <laughs> I wasn't even trying that time. This was fun. <laughs> yeah, this is a good video. Thanks for submitting. Uh, if you want to see more like videos like this where we react to like your photos, videos, let us know. And um, until then, we'll see you in the next video. Peace. That was Drew.